as they say, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? right? Chris That's Morris <laughs> joining me now is Chris Morris, the master distiller for Woodford Reserve. And we are going to make a thousand dollar mint julep. What in the world makes it so expensive? Well, one thing, it's all for a good cause. This year, we are donating the proceeds of the thousand dollar mint juleps, Stephanie, to old friends of Thoroughbred Retirement Farm. Okay, that's wonderful news. I'm glad that it is going to something good. Yes. So let's make one here. Let's make one. We're celebrating 89 years of the trophy being awarded to the Derby winner made out of gold. So we're using gold influenced material. Okay, so here's the question. Usually you have sugar. Yes, this year our sugar is liquid. It's Woodford Gold. It's sorghum from Woodford County. Okay. So we're putting the syrup in there. Yes. So since the sugar's melted already, we don't have to muddle. So we're just going to bruise we our. We have to muddle. Not this first year. year. Not never this had to year. Muddle. We're just going to gently bruise our Woodford County mint. Okay. Drop it in the cup, and then <clears throat> ice, of course. This year, our ice is from Nova Scotia. It's okay. naturally gold-filtered spring water that we've frozen. Yep. So fresh, crisp ice. And Jen was earlier saying it's cold out. Oh, so yes. how do you hold the cup? Because oh, it's going to so be very cold. cold. I'm going to hold it in the palm of my hand. I said gloves or drink it really yeah. fast. That's how you warm it up. Now we right? put in our sipping straw because the Woodford Reserve is going to settle. Wait, a gold sipping, sipping straw. straw FYI, absolutely. Which is the first time I've seen that. And one. then we're going to put our garnish next to the sipping straw. So every sip you take, you'll nose the mint. And since there is no such thing as gold mint, we've dusted our mint with gold <laughs> leaf. There we are. Y'all don't mess around. A little more ice to top it off. And you have got one of the most beautiful mint juleps ever created, and it's all for a good cause. I've got to try this one because I've never had it with, I've never even seen it made with the syrup here. And a you, gold straw, I mean, if you get the opportunity to have a drink out of a gold straw. It. So it gives it a whole different flavor, a real earthy flavor, doesn't I, it? And you know what? I like it better. Oh, well, good. I, I'm going to have to go with the syrup now instead of the sugar and the muddling. I think maybe it cuts it a little bit more. It's less sweet than the sugar. It is less sweet. And then we also, you have how many of these up for auction that actually are blinged out cups? Yes. These cups are made out of uh, gold on the rider with diamonds. Yeah. There were 10 of those. They started bids at $2,000. Yeah. We have cups that have raised over $5,000 for incredible. charity. That's incredible. All right. Thank you so much, Chris. We Thank appreciate you, it. Notice the tie that is matching the interior of this the box. The Vineyard Vine Silks yes. this year.